Amigos, otra fiesta de hoy nos conectamos de manera virtual con el bailarín Alec Balinski, quien actualmente se encuentra de gira con Carol G en su Mañana Será Bonito Tour. También participó en el Strip Love Tour y ha participado con muchísimos artistas más. Y nos conectamos de manera virtual. Alec, what's up, man? How are you? Hi, so nice to see you. Thank you for having me. Of course, welcome to Ultra Fiesta. Listen, this is a party here. We we have a party just like you all when you're on stage with Carol in this tour. That it's a whole party. This is we love it here. We love music. We love everything. <laughs> How are you? How's the how's the tour going? Yeah, I'm good. Uh, you know, we're almost done. I think we have three cities left, three shows. So it went by super fast. But you know, it's it's a great energy. We're all excited to finish strong. And yeah, it's been a great great ride so far. Well, this is the second tour that you work with her. And um, I wanted to talk a little bit about, well, obviously this tour, but I want to go back to the Strip Love Tour because I was reading in the notes that you literally got like booked like a day before the, the show, the, the tour was supposed to start. I'm sure this was like crazy because you had to like learn all this choreography and stuff. Tell me a little bit about the story. Yeah, no, honestly, that was probably the most challenging experience in my career so far. Um, just because of the speed of everything. And it's one of those moments that you train your entire life for and and then you, you get tested, right? So I feel like, I mean, they reached out a couple days before, but I didn't get a final confirmation until literally the day before the first show. I flew in and I, I even thought I was just going to watch the first show and not be on stage. But they were like, no, no, no you're going to be on stage tonight. I was like straight from the plane. <laughs> um, so that first show, you know, I didn't have to perform like all the choreography yet because obviously it wasn't possible. But they did have me do some freestyle elements. Were you like super nervous? I mean, yeah, especially especially that second show when I had one day to learn everything else, uh, like 10 numbers and We didn't even get to like rehearse on stage because the stage wasn't ready in time for a sound check. So I literally went from rehearsing in a locker room without a mirror uh, to just being on stage that I've never really been on before, you wow. know? So it was it was probably the most stressful job. <laughs> but, but now I feel like, you know, after doing this, I feel like I can do anything. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. I mean, I mean, if you talk about live testing you and trying you that, I mean, that was a, a big test. I mean, you, you must have done really good to be able to be on the net another tour. They, they, they liked you for sure. You know, I like to think so. I like to think that I did a good job to be, you know, invited back. One thing that Carol G always talks about is like, she has a lot of women in her, in her band, in her, you know, dancers, just her whole team itself is a lot of women. You're one of four male dancers, right? Currently with carol um yes. so it must be amazing too you know like to be part of this journey with her talk to me a little bit about that i've known about carol for a while before i danced for her because of my friend who was who has been her dancer for many many years um and so i i knew about the the female power kind of thing that she has going on and that's why i never even expected to work with her to be honest because i thought you know like all the musicians are female like, all of the dancers used to be female uh and i think it was coachella that was her first performance that she had guys involved and then the strip love tour was the first tour uh with male dancers so i mean i just feel very fortunate and honored to be one of the four You know, uh, I mean, there's still majority of female dancers in the camp um, to help carry that message of female empowerment, which I think is great. But it's uh, it's an honor to be able to help propel that message and be, uh, you know, uh, I like to think of myself as a feminist, too. So it's, it's definitely great to be involved in camps such like this. What are some of your favorite songs to dance to um, on this tour, Mañana Será Bonito? Well, I love Bichota and we dance. We did like an all male number to Bichota once in Puerto Rico. Right now it's only girls again. Uh, so I sometimes like to do so, some of these choreographies backstage, even if the boys are not on stage at the time. But, you know, Sejo Dioto is the one I love. Uh, the new ones, Okidoki um you know that whole uh bichota season section it's always oh, when fun. they're holding up the signs the part where they hold yes. Up. yes 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 that's a very fun uh moment yeah what is it about bichota Dude, there's something about that song that bichota song yeah. is so good that like everybody goes crazy like listen yeah. my best friend posted a video of the performance and i was screaming to this song okay this video went viral <laughs> You couldn't even hear Carol singing in this song. Oh my God. There's just something about this 
song that is so good. It's just like it makes you feel like you're on top of the world. Yeah. No, I mean, I think musically it's pretty original. You know, I mean, reggaeton has a, a very specific kind of tempo and, and the heavy bass going on. I think Bichota is uh, a very original song musically that like sticks to you because it stands out. Uh, and obviously the message and, you know, the lyrics and all of that, I think. Uh, I don't know. It was always one of my favorites, even from just watching the show uh, when I saw Bichot Tattoo before I was dancing for Carol. You're a choreographer too, right? Yes. So I know you choreographed a lot of stuff. Um, do you get to implement that part of you into this tour? Were you able to like maybe like improv some of like the stuff that you do or help out with some of the choreography? Or are you just like sticking strictly to dancing and following like a choreography? With the show, we do have some opportunities to freestyle on stage. And so Sometimes I would I like to choreograph my little moments um, just so they're not super accidental and random. And there's always space for spontaneity, but um, but yeah, I do like making my my little freestyle moments more structured. Um, and I, I mean, I didn't choreograph any specific numbers, um, but you know, I always am open to offer like my opinion to the choreographer if they do ask. Uh, and I think the choreographers who work with Carol know that I do have some choreography experience. So I've ex like, I've had them before like speak to me about like, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? You know, so I'm always super open to share, but I have not choreographed like a number specifically for-, gotcha. for Is this something that you see yourself doing in the future though? I know you work with like many artists. Like I know that you were, you danced for uh, Camila and Pharrell, The Voice. Uh, mm -hmm. You were with Son Leon, with Kim Petras, other artists. Do you see yourself, um, you know, maybe in the future, like doing like choreography numbers for artists? Like this is something that you feel you want to do? You want to stick to dancing? Like what are some things that you see yourself doing in the future? Definitely want to choreograph. I mean, I, I've been also doing it back home in Poland before moving to, to America. So I definitely want to come back to that. And, you know, the truth about dance is you can only dance for so long. Like once you get to a certain age, it's just better to have other uh creative jobs you know so i definitely want to um, transition into choreography and creative direction uh, at some point uh so it's also nice to be a part of carol's uh, team because i get exposed to like the highest level of creative direction and i can talk to those people ask them questions you know create these relationships to where in the future, hopefully we can work together in a different uh, fashion, not necessarily with me as a dancer, but as a creative as well. How will you describe this experience for this tour? I mean, the it's a stadium tour. So obviously if you the Strip Love Tour were arenas and there was a lot of people, but like I was like literally by the stage and just I could look behind me and around me. And I can only imagine what you guys feel when you're on stage dancing, but it's like a sea of people. It's like, you know, thousands and thousands of people screaming, dancing, like, what was what has this experience be like for you like how will you describe this i don't think you can compare it to anything else you know if you have to like be there on stage and experience it the level of energy that you feel it, it just gives you goosebumps and it's hard to get used to like it's not like the first show maybe you feel it more the first couple shows but but you never really get used to it like it always has big effect on you and i think the energy of everybody dancing and singing along and just like screaming it, it it's interesting because it, it recharges you it gives you a lot of fulfillment but it also takes a lot because we share so much of our energy with the audience that you can be very satisfied but very exhausted not just physically but also like energetically and mentally after a show so i mean it's it's definitely a dream come true it's something i didn't thing I was gonna do honestly as a dancer like to that level you know um so yeah very satisfying and very challenging at the same time hi everybody at Ultra Fiesta my name is Alec Palinski uh, thank you so much for listening and feel free to connect with me on social media at Alec Palinski uh, and I'm looking forward to see you in the Mañana Sara Bonito shows <laughs>